Hey guys, Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back. In this video today, we're going to be looking at some changes in my Cray Homes plugin. Now, this plugin isn't actually released yet, so if you want to go download it from the plugin bucket website it's not actually on there but I am going to be providing a link in the description if you do want to download it now so yeah I've added some new features and fixed some bugs now we'll just quickly talk about the bug fixes before we get into the features so if you had a really long name it would actually return an internal server error and wouldn't allow you to actually use the mod but I fixed that now um, I discovered that when Nabus tried to use it his name is very long um, and there's a character limit on the name size that you can have on a GUI. I think it's 32 characters. So I had to um, fix that up and it's um, it's fixed now. It just shortens the, your name if it is longer. Um, but yeah, that was practically the only bug that I, I was having with it. So for the features, I've had numerous additions to it. If you're wondering why I've got this compass in my inventory, if we go ahead and right click with it, it will now open up the Cray Homes GUI where you can go ahead, um, set your home, delete a home and teleport to it. Now this is actually configurable and if you don't want to use the compass and you want to use the command again, um, you just have to set use compass to false in the configuration and it will use the command instead of the compass. Why this is useful is because other plugins might use the compass to say uh, teleport to a location that you're looking at. So I think there is one of them. Um, I had Brenny Beast mention that to me that he's got some sort of teleportation thing that uses the compass and I thought it would be a good idea to actually add this into the config. Now we're going to go inside of this house here so we'll head inside and we're going to stand in the middle here and we're going to face this door center here. Now we're going to open up the, uh, the GUI and then we're going to click set home and then we're going to enter our name so we're just going to call this house. And then we'll select an icon, we might just use the workbench, and then now our home is created. So if we go outside and we're like la 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 la, let's go mining. I'm gonna punch this tree because I'm in creative mode. And then we go open our GUI and we click on house. It's gonna take us back to the house, and you'll notice that my market is still in the center of the door there. And the feature that I've added is actually saving the yaw and pitch of the player. Um, if you don't know what that is, um, the pitch, I think, I think the pitch is that way and the yaw is left and right. So like where you're looking, that's yaw and then that's pitch. Uh, don't quote me if I'm wrong there. But yeah, it will save where you're actually looking at instead of uh, defaulting to like straight ahead like that, which, which didn't look nice and it's a bit... Another feature that I've added is actually dynamic home limits. Now, right now, I've set my home limit to a maximum amount of three. Now, you can actually configure this for each player as well. So, if you want your admin, if you want, um, not an admin, if you want VIP, if you have a group called VIP, you can set their home limit to 15. Um, if you have, just say, like a member, you can set their home limit to five. Um, and I'll just show you an example real quickly. So um, I'm just going to create some random homes. So just like that. And then I'll do one over here. Set home, blah, blah, blah. And then we'll do one more. Now if I try to set another home over here, and I go set home, whoop, uh, and just like the icon, it will say, you have reached your allowed maximum of houses. Now I can actually increase this. So I'm going to go um, PEX user. Mr. Crayfish, add um, Cray Homes limit, and what we're going to do is we're going to do 52. Now you can, it's a maximum up to 52. If you enter anything higher, it's just going to round back down to 52. So we're going to add, um, okay, I don't have the permissions to do that. Let me just quickly fix that up. All right, so I just manually added that permission through the console. So if we go ahead and try to set a home now, we should be able to whoop, we'll do that and whoop, and then as you can see we can actually set more homes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set multiple homes and just take a look what actually happens when this starts going up to here. So I'm going to just keep setting some random homes.
you notice that when I open the GUI now, um, it has actually bumped these set home and delete home down one. So all this essentially does is if you have lots of uh, warp set, it's not actually going to override these two buttons which are actually used for setting home and deleting homes. Um, so if I keep setting more real quickly, you'll notice that now that's gone over there, it's just gone to the next line here, and then when I keep setting homes and then it gets to here, it will bump them one down more. Now you might be wondering why the maximum is 52, and the maximum size inventory that you can get is 54, but because I've already got two um, defined blocks here in the inventory, I've had to take two off the limit, um, which if you do 54 take two, then it's going to equal um, 52. So that's the maximum amount of homes that you can actually set. Which is more than enough, in my opinion. Now why you should go and download this plugin for your server? Well, one reason is that it is commandless. Two, it is GUI based, so it makes it very user friendly. Um, those plugins that use commands to set homes and do that stuff uh, are just annoying and you, you have to remember what the names are called sometimes. Like, you go home, you like, home, blah, it's like, ah, oh, that's not my home name, what is it again? With this, you can simply just open up the GUI, you've got a whole list of all the homes that you've got, you can set custom icon icons for each one to identify um, the home kind of type of it. You can delete homes, you can add homes, you can... It's amazing, it's very simple for anybody to understand, no knowledge really required at all. Um, commands can be confusing if you are new to servers as well, so this plugin really makes it easy um, for players to set homes. But yeah, that is it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and if you do want to download this plugin, link will be in the description for the jar file. And yeah, please remember to leave a like, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!